Liz Truss will be succeeding Boris Johnson as the next Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. The 47-year-old Foreign Secretary defeated Rishi Sunak by over 20,000 votes in the Tory leadership battle. She secured 81,326 votes compared to Sunak's share of 60,399. Truss will be the third woman after Margaret Thatcher and Theresa May to head the UK government. Let's uh, get you uh, key excerpts of that announcement that took place a short while back. I'd like to thank the 1922 committee, the party chairman and the Conservative Party for organising one of the longest job interviews in history. Thank you very much. I'd also like to thank my family, my friends, my political colleagues and all of those who helped on this campaign. I'm incredibly grateful for all of your support. I'd like to pay tribute to my fellow candidates particularly Rishi Sunak. It's been a hard-fought campaign. I think we have shown the depth and breadth of talent in our Conservative Party. All right, uh, let's go across to uh, Chris Curtis of Opinion Research, who has been tracking this election in the UK very closely. Uh, Chris, uh, thanks for joining us. Give us a sense of what really worked for Liz Truss in this Conservative Party vote. Uh, well, it's not so much what worked for Liz Truss as what really didn't work for Rishi Sunak. He ended up being fairly unpopular with the Conservative Party members. By the end of this contest, they were the ones who have decided the result. Um, and the big mistake he made was bringing down Boris Johnson, the previous Prime Minister. Conservative Party members thought that that showed disloyalty, um, and they thought he sort of stabbed his previous boss in the back. They didn't respect and trust him for that. And mostly driven by that, they have they voted for Liz Truss instead. Right. And according to your own research uh, and your own surveys, what do people of UK want most from the new prime minister? Oh, I mean, there's one thing that is overwhelmingly wanted by the British public right now, and that is a response to the cost of living crisis. Um, yeah, yeah, it, 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 it's it's. Yeah, you know, it's, it's completely true that um, you know the biggest problem people are facing is rising energy bills this winter. They want to know how the government is going to mitigate against some of the problems uh, that that will cause. And I think you know we're probably going to hear a, a, an announcement from Liz Truss on that over the coming days. Right. Uh, and any idea what will be Rishi Sunak's political future? Very difficult to tell at this stage. I think the most likely outcome is that he uh, returns to the backbenches. He doesn't serve in Liz Truss's government. Um, he's been putting forward an argument during this Conservative leadership election about fiscal responsibility, the idea that the government just can't spend money willy-nilly and has to be really responsible about how and where it prioritises uh, government spending. I imagine he's going to not serve in Liz Truss's uh, government and continue for the next few years putting forward that argument and, and hopes that even though he didn't manage to win this time, he can at least be right in hindsight. All right. Uh, thanks very much, uh, Chris Curtis, for uh, joining us.